Okay, so this is my Arduino powered tank robot with the Bluetooth serial interface. Um, seems pretty dang cool. It's got a uh, powerful lipo underneath so that it will it can run for days. Um, and it's got a twin gearbox motor that drives these treads. And I just finished the remote control. Finally ditched my iPhone 4 uh, and got a Android phone. So what I'm going to do here is use this robot remote control. Go ahead and turn on my robot there. Lots of nice blinking lights. And I'm going to connect uh, my controller here to my robot and then I can drive. Uh, and it's just like a tank here. So spinning around, going forward, backwards. Um, Looks like I lost the link or the battery might have died. There we go. Cancel. And you can also um, do uh, voice controls here. I don't have them uh, working yet, but so I'm going to add, you know, speed control where you can say fast, slow, medium to speed it up or slow it down. And so let's reconnect here. Connecting. Okay, device is connected. Let's back up and stop and go a little bit forward and do some spinning. And forward. Reverse. Stop. Ah, oh, it doesn't like reverse for some reason. Okay. I'll have to figure out why that is, but uh, you get the picture. That's my cool little uh, Arduino driven tank. And as you can see, the actual body that the tank is built around is an Arduino Dulamov, I, I can never pronounce that word or whatever, um, board, compatible board, but it's been extend the PCB has been extended so that it is the whole body that the robot is assembled on. And you can stack... Um, header, you know, shields on here, and it's got the dual motor drivers for driving the twin motors, and uh, it's got all those cool looking LEDs, you know, that light up that you can control, um, as well as a bunch of other cool stuff you can do, like on the front it's got this universal mount where you can mount a camera, uh, or a claw, or a laser turret, or whatever, so or you know video camera with uh, a gimbal so you can aim this way that way and the other way um, so yeah I've got some plans for this thing to be a little security bot that can patrol around my house with a camera and look at stuff so that's pretty dang cool to be able to use a remote control from my Android phone to talk to this guy and uh, Bluetooth is pretty short range you know, we're talking 30 feet indoors, 30 to 50 feet. Um, but I do have a cell phone chip board, whatever you want to call it, that you just put a you know SIM card in, and I can attach this somewhere on here and put the antenna up, and it just uses serial communications instead of the Bluetooth. And then I could have this thing, have the camera on it, and have it stream video back to my cell phone device while I drive it from the cell phone device. And I can be anywhere in the world, and this could be on the other side of the world driving around sending me video over the cellular network. So I think that's pretty dang cool. So there's my latest little robot. Um, pretty fun. And as you can see in the background, there's my MakerBot automated build platform. I need to build the rest of my 3D printer, but uh, that'll be done soon. So I'll be printing up different parts for my robots 
and I have a, a, a CNC three axis uh, you know CNC machine milling machine on the way that's uh, a, you know a smaller version it prints it can handle anything from 12 inches by 10 inches by 4 inches thick um, including up to aluminum and brass and acrylic and any kind of material and carve out 3D or cut or mill or whatever so I'll be able to, with that and the 3D printer I'll be able to manufacture all my own parts to build my models and my robots and my remote control helicopters and whatnot. so uh, I'm having some fun here so that's it for this installment of what's Ezra doing right now with his crazy electronics and I bid you good day.